No, no, no. Wait, no. 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 Andrew, I have Andrew. Andrew. My two Aston Martins are brothers, but my two Ferraris are sisters. You may not understand that, but I do. But there's a lot of things about the world that I understand that you don't. Clearly, by my fucking car park. I bet you have like a a car payment. <laughs> I go to work at every month, and I get my Tesla, and I pay some payment. Bruv, money's not even fucking real. You're going to work for money's not even a real thing. They type it into a computer and enslave you. If they can make it up from the sky by typing it into a computer, and you'll do whatever the fuck they say for this thing they've just made up, even asinine dumb shit like sweep a floor, which you would do for enough money, then you're their slave. Money's not real. I strongly recommend, before you go to work tomorrow, you spend the next three hours understanding money and where it comes from and just how not real it is. Because once you get on the other side of the wall, once you break out of the fish tank, and you evolve, once you stop being a little fish in brokey ocean, and grow legs and go to the land, like I am, you realize it's all garbage, it's all made up. <laughs> Isn't it, G? Then you get sister Ferraris and brother Aston Martins and Bugatti scooters and mansions, private jets and boats. Go to jail. It's great. It's great. And you're here with a car payment, like a dummy. I'm gonna pay my car payment. I can't pay my bills. Inflation's so bad. The price of food is out of control. For you brokies it is. I don't have a fucking clue what food costs. And you know what, I'm not even an elite. I'm just a poor guy with lots of money. I'm from the streets, from a Luton council estate, and I now, after 10 years of being rich, have no fucking idea what a loaf of bread costs. I could guess a couple dollars, but I actually don't know. I don't know how much bread costs, don't know how much meat costs, don't know how much anything costs. When I go into a restaurant, I've never looked at the price in years. Give me these five dishes, one bite of each, throw the rest away. Who cares? Money's not real. It's not Everything's free. Everything's free. I don't know the price of anything. I don't even look at the price of the fucking Ferraris I buy. They announce a new car and I just call my dude. Give me two sisters to fuck. Money's not real. Nothing's real. Financial system's not real. Medical system's not real. The World Health Organization and their bullshit. Judicial system ain't real. All these systems you rely on are all a scam. It's all fake, it's all made up. Nothing's actually real in this world. We live in a simulation. And I'm actually, with my brilliant mind, and particularly potent astuteness, have realized that in every single period of human history, there have been losers and winners, you know? It doesn't matter if you were in the Han Dynasty in China, or you were the Aztecs, or the indigenous Americans, it doesn't matter where you were from, Zulus. At every point in history, there were winners and there were losers. And in this incarnation of the reality we're living in, in this version of the universe, those losers just happen to be you. Enjoy your car payment. <laughs> Tristan challenged me to a steak eat off. Who's your money on? Is that why you're recording? Because you think that you're going to beat Tristan in a steak eat off? Do you doubt my power? Yes. You don't stand a chance. Yes, but not cold. 400 gram ribeyes. That's 2.6 pounds of steak. Let's start with that. See if I'm still hungry afterwards. Tristan's the consumption world champion. I know he is. You don't stand a chance. I know what I like. 
The aged in-house ribeye, please. I like three of them. Three of them. Cooked medium. And give me one of every sauce. Thank you very much. I'm sophisticated. I don't partake in such silly misadventures <laughs> for the children to try and out-eat each other with $100 steaks. I'm far above that. The fact that I would definitely lose has nothing to do with it. I'm just having lunch. There's no competition to me. Does this like curb your appetite? Don't tell him. He's at a severe disadvantage now. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I will put everything in the middle. Sure. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. Barbecue sauce and aioli. Beautiful. Thank you. Might need a fourth. <laughs> Andrew, I might have bit off more than I could chew. Toast, G. Tristan, Tristan's undefeated. There's a lot at stake. Bro, Tristan's already two sticks down. He doesn't even chew, he just inhales. Well, you were texting, Bailey. Let's go. It's like the tortoise and the hare. So Tristan can just inhale it. You know, I eat a little bit slower, but at the end of the day, you're so going the tortoise down. and the hare. Exactly. Or is it gay in the straight? <laughs> Bro, I'm not even one steak down, and you're done. You don't even chew. You just inhale. I don't understand. It's good as you. <laughs> <laughs> Go dealt with, bro. It's not over yet. It is. <laughs> Round one. Thank you. <laughs> you gonna finish that? Tristan, how did you eat three steaks in five minutes? People don't realize you literally did that in five minutes. It's a lot you can do in five minutes. Like your mom. Bailey, playing push it to the limit isn't going to help you. I feel inspired. Made me hungry. I've been finished for 15 minutes. I told you, it's tortoise and hair. I feel so hungry now. This one did the trick. You don't. I do. Bailey, you look full. Full? Yeah, your oh. neck looks bigger than normal. Mm. Sure you don't the neck curls. <laughs> Pass the point of no return. I'm finishing these steaks. I don't think you are. You got pushed to the limit. I hope I don't choke. <laughs> no, ladies and gentlemen at home, this is not filmed in slow mo. It's just slow Bailey. <laughs> Barely eating his food. The pace has slowed down to a sales pace. Bailey, it has, it, has been, it has been like 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Since I finished, yeah. Uh, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Bailey, give up. Bailey, give up. I'm almost to the point. No, it's okay. Just give up. It's taking an extra 45 minutes. You've gotten nowhere. Just quit. You surrender. I surrender. Well done. Are you going to eat that? <laughs> There's no way you can eat this. Pass me the steak. There's no way you can Pass eat Pass me the steak. I don't believe you. Thank you. <laughs> it's a bit cold. <laughs> cold movie has to be in there out for an hour. <laughs> There's no way he's gonna eat this. Maybe he eats that, baby. <laughs> that is different level. Destruction for you. Tristan. Andrew, he's built different. I told you. I admit. I told you. I fucking told you. I told you. You <laughs> Why didn't you believe me? I told you. He's always been built different. <laughs> he's, the only, he's the only man I saw in jail who didn't make a single phone call. You have to be built different to have phone time in jail and call nobody. And sit on your own. How do you feel? Like dessert. <laughs> Wrong. 
Where are you going? I have the number plate of the guy who's been putting up the posters. With the Roos guy? His camera's up and down the entire road. And the dipshit used his car. <laughs> so you're gonna go see him? No, no, no. Wait, no. 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 Andrew, I have. Andrew. Andrew. No, no. Well, I, I have to go film the roost guy. No, no. Hi, Samajim. Hi.